Yeah, DJ Sudu Ladd's been climbing up the NFL draft board since the combine and can go as high as the first round. But before all that recognition, Ladd was just a kid from Chatsworth, Georgia, looking for a chance that nobody wanted to give him until we finally got that call. You know, just frustrating process because you sit there beating your head against the wall, telling people that this guy, I don't care if he's got any stars or not, this guy is a stud. Before Ladd McConkey was a star receiver at the University of Georgia, the 5'11 Chatsworth Georgia native was a do-it-all athlete for North Murray High School and Coach Preston Pogue. Just always been a kid that nothing's too big for him, right? Because he's small, but he's always had it back. And I mean, like, he, he makes things happen. A quarterback, running back, wide receiver, and DB for North Murray, Ladd broke school records, led the team to its first quarterfinal appearance, and even had a game where he threw for a touchdown, ran for a touchdown, and intercepted a pass for a touchdown. He went over to us and, and told me, he said, put me in that DB, I'm going I'm to pick one off and run for a touchdown. I said, all right, big boy, get in there and do it. And he sure enough, he picked it off and ran for a touchdown, and he came on to the side. I said, I told you. That was like his fifth or sixth touchdown, whatever it was, but it was <laughs> crazy. And yet Ladd was a low-rated prospect with only offers from 2A schools. Coaches would come and visit and all say the same thing. They would, they'd love his film, and I'd bring him in here to my office. I could tell when they looked at him, like, man, this guy's small. So, it, you know, and they, they would say, you know, what's he going to do when the SEC defensive back gets in his face? <laughs> well, we know now that answer would be ball. But back then it was an unknown, and Ladd was prepared to go to a two-way school. Until late in the process, Coach Kirby Smart noticed Ladd not on a football field, but a basketball court, and eventually gave Ladd his life-changing offer. Kirby was just like, man, this kid is dynamic. He was able to turn his film on. He's making plays at, you know, at, at receiver, at quarterback, at defensive backs. He's like, man, we need to get him. A young man that wanted to prove everybody wrong, and uh, you know we bet on him to be a good player, and uh, he did. Nobody works harder than Lab McConkey, and I think there, nobody on our team would say there's a better teammate than Lab McConkey. He's just such a good kid. He's such a hard person to find. And after four years at Georgia, and now with the NFL calling, what stands out the most about Lad isn't on the field. Lad is the best player I've coached. You know, I've coached in college too, so. Um, but with that, he's also one of the best people, too. I mean, just a humble kid. It was not going to be about Ladd. It's going to be about his team and the organization that, get, that drafts him and a lot of good, lot of good traits he has. And I'm rejoined here with Dogs Insider and high school football expert, expert Rusty Manziel. Rusty, you were around when Ladd was coming up. Yep. What was your first impression of him, and why couldn't he get those stars? The exact same thing that Coach Pogue said. When you see him in, in high school, I was like, man, he's small. What's he going to do against Tyson Campbell? What's he going to do against these guys? We know what he did. He balled. So one last time before the draft, Ladd, my bad. <laughs> he should have had at least four stars. We gave him three stars late in the process, but an elite, elite player in college football. I mean, you saw what he did in high school. And how do you think that game is going to translate now oh, to the NFL? It's going to be special because it's such a passing league, red zone. One word I learned with Ladd McConkey is short area suddenness. You cannot cover him one-on-one -on -one in small areas. He will eat you up. NFL teams are going to love him. Please, Falcons, draft this guy. That would be something, right? I mean, hometown kid going back to his yep. home. We'll see where he goes in the NFL, certainly. Yep. First round, second round, early second round. He's a special player. Wherever he ends up, I don't think he cares. I talked to him last week. I said, where do you think he wants to go? He goes, man, I don't care. I'm just ready to go. He loves football. Lad, I'm sorry, my man. One more time. <laughs> well, hopefully he accepts your apology. Yeah. He will. And he guys, uh, Lad McConkey, man, special talent. We'll see where he goes in the NFL draft.